on the German opera style certainly seemed to match the public's taste, but Wagner was convinced he'd taken the traditional opera format as far as it would go. His musical nature seemed to be reaching towards something as yet unknown, undefined. How these new ideas would have affected his burgeoning career in Dresden is something he never got to find out. In 1849, his name became linked with a revolutionary plot, and Wagner was forced to flee to Switzerland to avoid arrest. In exile, Wagner took a long, hard look at his art. During the next five years, he composed hardly any music, instead churning out vast screeds of words, charting out his reinvention of opera. Before we look at what that map plotted out, here's a prelude from Lohengrin, which he'd already completed, but whose first performance, which took place in Weimar under the auspices of Wagner's future father-in-law, Franz Liszt, Wagner himself was unable to hear, stranded as he was in exile. <laughs> 